Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today I have some huge news. If you're an Unreal Engine or a Unity user, the world of Houdini just came to your door. You can now use Houdini Engine for free with Unreal or Unity game engines, which is actually pretty awesome. But in order to understand this story, probably need a little bit of backstory for some of you, especially around a what's a Houdini and what's a Houdini engine. So let's start with that first one, Houdini. Houdini is my great white whale. It is the one 3D application I can't get my brain to learn, but I've never really dedicated myself to it extremely. This is made by a company called Side Effects Software based out of Toronto, Ontario. In fact, they're they're above my favorite Chipotle, which I actually appreciate. Uh, Houdini itself is a procedural powerhouse. That's the entire idea behind this. Everything is a network of nodes. Everything, particle systems, geometry, uh, special effects, lighting, everything. It's, it's a hierarchy of nodes. When you've got, when you hear about the Blender Foundation moving towards Blender Everything as Nodes project, that is probably being inspired by Houdini. So everything here, every action is a node. You can cook them together. And what this allows you to do is create things procedurally. Basically, you teach it how to do one thing, for example, create a tree with some grass, and then it can make a forest for you. And it's got things in there like splines, so you do paths among your forests. And it's probably the most powerful procedural generator out there right now. But on top of that, Houdini is actually a full-blown 3D graphics suite. It has been around for 20 plus years. It does all of the things like animation and uh, modeling and special effects and lighting and rendering and all of that stuff as well. It just does them procedurally, as you can see over here. There are a number of operations. Like there's literally, there's pop, there's chop, there's sop, there's I think dop, there's, I forget what all of these things are except for lops, which are cute. And this whole thing is the kind of the, the key idea behind Houdini is that procedural driven nature, but it's also a full blown, fully capable uh, 3D application used in film. They're mo pushing more and more into game dev, motion graphics and VR. And obviously what we are interested in here is their game dev approach. Now there's a number of different tiers of Houdini available out there. There's Houdini uh, effects, core, uh, apprentice, and indie and this all gets really confusing and we'll come back to some of the pricing details later on just know there is a completely free version and it doesn't work with what we are talking about today now back to what we are talking about today and that is houdini engine the best i can understand what houdini engine is is basically it takes the uh the brains of houdini all of this runtime procedural stuff and makes it available to third parties via plugins so basically you take the logic of houdini and you can create a simulation or a world or something or a particle system effect or a special effect or a procedural forest or whatever, you could generate that in Houdini in one of the versions like Houdini FX or Houdini Core or Houdini uh, Indie. And then you can publish it out to a file format that Houdini Engine can then run. Houdini Engine runs inside of various different applications. And there are plugins for Unity and Unreal Engine. Those host in application. Uh, so it lets you load Houdini digital assets into other 3D applications. Parameters to the assets are available for editing. So you can tweak settings and so you can create a simulation in Houdini, send it out to Unity or Unreal Engine. And then your designer can tweak the values that you expose to them in these procedural worlds. So you've got like this this bridge over here, bridge over here in your game engine of choice. So how it works, basically, they create their, their solution here, they spit it out, it creates an HDA file loaded into your application of choice. Now you're going to notice you have other options here, such as Maya, that is not affected today. Houdini engine for, you know, custom or Maya or Max, no work. This is just free for these two right here. And then it's available for the artists inside of their host application, they can tweak the settings or whatever. But to them, it's just kind of like a raw input, sort of like what you would have for your 3D models coming in or whatever there. Um, so that's kind of the idea behind it. Now, the reason why we are talking here is because Houdini Engine for Unreal and Unity are now available for free, which is pretty awesome. So here we got Side Effects is pleased to announce that Houdini Engine for Unreal Engine and Unity are now available for commercial customers for free. Previously free for artists using Houdini Indie, this now gives commercial artists and studios the ability to widely deploy procedural assets created in Houdini to Unreal Engine and Unity real-time 3D platforms for use in games and XR development, virtual production, and design visualizations. That actually could be kind of huge the virtual production because you're bringing a lot of these special effects that are actually used in film if you look at the uh the reel for um houdini the brag reels you're gonna see they're used a lot in special effects work for for films and um you know the unreal engine is kind of moving more and more into that 
on set production, like what you're seeing with the Mandalorian. This could be a big bump in that regard. So uh, through the power of Houdini Engine, procedural tools and assets built in Houdini with custom tailored interfaces can be brought into Unreal Engine for and Unity and used by artists whether they know Houdini or not. Houdini Engine does the processing work on the assets and delivers the results back to the editor. Uh, procedural assets work within the editor for content creation are baked out before going to the runtime. Houdini Engine plugins have been used on numerous ship titles, which are all a little underwhelming if I'm honest. I'm, I'm surprised there's not a major AAA title here. The closest we come is actually Candy Crush. Uh, but otherwise, there's Airy in The Secret of Seasons and Nano Tail Typing Chronicles have all used it. Um, the UE4 plugin was recently released as a second version, which by the way, you can get access to both of those. Uh, customers can access up to 10 licenses per studio through the website and can request more through their account manager. Other host applications, uh, basically the summary here is if you're using Max or you're using Maya or proprietary plugins, yeah, your world just kind of stayed the same as it was. So this isn't free for you guys, it's just free for Unreal Engine and Unity. Uh, Houdini Indie will continue to be free for a limited commercial project where the studios bring in less than 100k. Again, we'll get back to the pricing in just a second. So that's actually pretty sweet. We got some breakdowns, some of the, the, the FAQ on it. The big one to be aware of is this guy right here. License, Houdini Engine for Unity, free. Houdini Engine for UE4, free. Houdini Engine, not free. Houdini Engine Indie, free. So basically it boils down to if you're using Max or Maya or proprietary, you're in the not free category, but for everybody else, hey, you're good to go. And you're gonna notice it basically works the same way. You get a raw input file in the HDA file and you're good to go. Now, one of the things that kind of sucks with this setup though, is the Houdini engine. If you happen to use Houdini as part of your workflow and you're passing it through Max or Maya, you, you can't now. So that's not available for Unity or Unreal. Uh, I don't think that's going to affect too, too many people because you know, a lot of people I think using Houdini are going to go Houdini directly to their game engine. But if they're using it as part of a pipeline and the last stage is to flip through um, Max or Maya, well, you still got to pay in that scenario. So pretty cool stuff on the whole. Um, there, there are plugins directly available for Unity and for Unreal Engine. The Unity plugin uh, details here. So you got a little Houdini network of nodes can be easily wrapped up into Houdini digital assets. That's that HDA file format then shared with other artists. With the Houdini engine, these assets can be loaded into the Unity game editor with procedural controls available to artists. Results can then be further manipulated in Unity. Anytime a parameter is changed on the asset, Houdini engine is called upon to cook the network of nodes and publish the, um, the results to Unity. Uh, this allows for deeper integration of Houdini digital assets into the Unity game pipeline. Content is baked out when the game is published. Uh, so that means there isn't a huge perform performance ramification at runtime because it's all pre-baked for you when you publish your game. So in order to get a hold of it, uh, you have to download the Houdini installer. The Unity plugin will be inside of that. So it's this guy right here. Same thing for basically the Unreal Engine. Pretty much the exact same spiel, exact same setup, exact same way of working. The only real difference here is there are two plugins in this one, the original one and the new V2, uh, which is, I guess, just newer, maybe less stable. So you have a choice between them. Now, an interesting thing listed for both of them are these statements down here. Houdini uh, engine licenses let you load assets into Unreal Engine 4, but do not give you access to the Houdini core slash effects GUI. The free Houdini engine indie licenses will let indie users open assets created in either Houdini indie or Houdini core effects. Now, what I think that means, if I'm reading this right, and, and this is exactly what I would expect it to be, is you can load the files, but you can't you don't get access to Houdini itself. So in this particular scenario, you still need to have a Houdini um, core or effects license in order to edit or create these simulations. You can only just access them with this free tool. And that's kind of a no brainer. That makes sense to me. I think the only difference here is if you've got the Houdini engine license, well, you've obviously got Houdini engine. So you can open up either from Indie or from core effects. Uh, so that's something to be aware of. And then once again, this is kind of unfortunate. The free Houdini apprentice license cannot open these, but I do believe you can get a 30 day live trial. Uh, in addition to Houdini engine plugin outlined below, there are also plugins for Unreal's Niagara system and a live link plugin, which we use to control rigs in Unreal directly from Houdini. So those are available details there. And there is an Unreal engine starter kit. Let me scroll down, see if we've got anything special for, no, that's it. So, oh no, there is a starter kit. All right, so if you're interested in checking these out, uh, there is a starter kit for Unity and there is a starter kit for Unreal Engine uh, to get you up and going. Now, what's actually kind of cool about this whole thing is that um, since it's basically an output, 
you don't need to buy Houdini, but I would think we're going to start seeing here is Houdini artists and creators creating content and exporting it out to HTA format and then publishing it on the store or in various different ways because then you can consume those. And as long as you just need to tweak parameters as opposed to actually uh, – you know, create your own procedures from scratch. This could open up a whole new opportunity in the marketplace. And I guess that's probably why Houdini is doing it because ultimately what they want to do is sell more of these licenses. The studio licenses or the artist license is basically where it's at for most people. And here's where you're going to see the cost of Houdini involved. A workstation license for an artist is node locked at two grand. Whereas if we get into studio floating licenses, three grand. So Houdini is not, and that's core. Then we get into effects, where if you're doing special effects work on top, we're up to seven grand. Or you get in annual rentals that are a little bit cheaper. And we go back here to artist effect is $4,500. So it's basically the same kind of pricing as 3D Studios Max and Maya. But the nice thing about this announcement today is the Houdini engine stuff. This used to be a purchase. Now it is free for up to 10 users. Uh, and, and that's that's a pretty big deal. So you can consume Houdini content now going forward, even without having Houdini or ever having to learn how to use it. So I think, again, we'll probably see more and more Houdini content showing up on the asset stores, which is, I guess, a good way for these people to make their money back. And then also, if you happen to make less than 100K a year, you've got the Indie license. Houdini Indie is 269 node locked or 399 over two years. Um, and then the Houdini Indie Engine, as we talked about. Well, this one actually was always the case. It was always free. Uh, so now what you're basically, the news today is that the runtimes for these guys are now completely free in Houdini Engine. And probably more important is for any one of us, even if we don't use Houdini, we can use the Houdini Engine plugins and consume Houdini content, which is pretty cool news. So anyways, that is today's news. Houdini Engine is now free uh, for uh, Unreal Engine and Unity users. Unfortunately, Max and Maya folk or people that are using Houdini Engine in your own proprietary project, not so great news for you, but for everyone else, hey, great news. Let me know what you think. Have you used Houdini? Is it like it is for me? Is it your great white whale? Is it a program you struggle with wrapping your head around? Or do you absolutely love Houdini or absolutely hate Houdini? Or is today the first time you've ever heard of Houdini? Let me know. Comments down below, and I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.